Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Once again, I'm Neff from Neff's Tech, but today we're going to be having a look at a TP-Link AC1200 wireless dual band PCI Express adapter. So if you want fast Wi-Fi, you got to have at least uh, AC. So Wi-Fi 4 is N, Wi-Fi 5 is AC, Wi-Fi 6 is AX. So this is one step down from AX. AX, of course, is within its infancy right now. So I want to test this against AX cards and see if I get about the same speed because when I... I, um, I just I just want to test it. I just want to test it because I'm not always happy with the speed I get from AX considering. Now the difference between AX, which is Wi-Fi 6, and AC is not as dramatic as N4 and uh, AC Wi-Fi 5. So as soon as you see you get here, uh-huh, we got our little itty bitty cutie antennas. So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the AC versus the AX units. The AX units definitely have much bigger antenna, um, but they both seem to sport the same giant heat sink. Now, I want to get this thing slammed into a system and try a direct transfer with another unit that has an AX unit in it. It actually has a TP-Link, and I want to see if I can get better than 20 megabytes a second transfer locally with line of sight to the router. Let's test these speeds now, ladies and gentlemen. Stick in, press play, right, ladies? Rrr. Uh, well, that's interesting. This computer seems to think a new CPU's been installed, but it hasn't been. Nothing a quick reboot can't help. You guys all remember my Fortress of Seclusion battle station down yaw over on the left-hand side. I got my Alexandrian backup over on the right-hand side is where I do all my work. And we're going to try a transfer from one to the other. I have line of sight to the AX D-Link $300 router. So just for reference, here's the godly D-Link XOAX $300 unit I got. It's got six antennas. That must mean it's super power, right, my guys? And I mean, like, the box is pretty cool, so this thing must be fast, right? I'm expecting at least 15 megabytes a second. Let's see what we can pull off. All right, here's the money shot. I am transferring it up to 30 megabytes a second, which is about as fast as I can get out of any of my AX cards. And I... I don't know why it's doing that. AX is definitely in its infancy, and the more I see it, the more uh, the more I think that uh, it still has a way to go. Let me plug in my AX card and see what that does. But before that, I'm going to plug in one of these systems hardwired to the network and see if that improves things at all. Okay, so it definitely runs better when I plug in one of the systems. It's interesting how much of an overhead it takes. It, it it doubles the speed as long as one system is plugged in. Man, it must take a lot of power to run all this Wi-Fi. For some reason, all my viewers like it when I do an internet speed test, and all reviewers seem to do an internet speed test, but I don't quite understand why they do that, because that only tells you how fast the internet goes. This thing can go a lot faster than my download speed and my upload speed. My download speed and upload speed are so slow that uh, it's not even a challenge for my router. But here's the speed test. If I was in a better place and if I had fiber to the home, it would definitely be faster and better. Just for clarity, this is what I'm going to test out. This is what I'm going to compare it to. This AX Asus 3000. In this first test, this unit, my Alexandrian backup, is going to be Wi-Fi. And the other unit, my workhorse, is going to be connected hardwire. Let's see what speeds we can get then. All right, well, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. That is definitely nothing to sneeze at. Getting about 20, 30 more megabytes per second. Megabytes, not megabits. Okay, here's the same test once again. Wi-Fi only. Not the best. So yeah, this is supposed to be an, a an AX unit plugged in. <clears throat> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. All I can say is I don't get continuous proof that the AX is better than the AC. Maybe the AC is just better mastered. Maybe this stuff will get better as time goes on, but I am perplexed at why I'm getting this problem. The unit on the right has AX. The unit on the left also has AX. So... 
I am at a bit of a loss right now, honestly. Ultimately, in closing, this unit does better than my AX cards. It perplexes me, and I don't know why, but that's just how it is. If you're looking to get into the market, if you're looking into purchasing this unit, I definitely don't see any reason why you shouldn't. It works nicely for the here and the now. Maybe in another 10 years, AX will be faster. But I'm just not seeing it right now, and it kind of blows my mind. There must be... There must be something up. I gotta double check everything. I have already double checked everything and I can't see why this system seems to be as fast or faster than um, the X units. And I've tried different mo routers too. I just don't get it. But yeah, product review, the product, definitely I can recommend it. Give it a shot, guys. Anyways, that's it for me. Now from Nav's Tech, but like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other, would you?